Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So you want me to put what I have? Yes, that is correct. Not approved. So this is what I have so far for my business credit card. So you got Chase Unlimited, Business Chase Unlimited. And are they 0% interest? No. What make you want to apply for that card? Let me see. Let me see. Do you recall what made you decided to apply for it? Was it for the travel bonus? No, it wasn't for a travel bonus. I, I have a few Chase cards, like personally myself. I don't know if it's 0%, zero percent now that I was researching a few and I just ended up doing the Chase Inc. Unlimited. And then after I did that, I, I went back and looked to see if it had the fee for it to be overseas. I, I know I'm not using that right word, but the conversion rate. And then whenever you posted it, I literally just applied for this one. And I was like, dang, I probably should have checked. No worry. So right now with the mm -hmm. 0% interest. So let me see. I'm, I'm looking up a stack for you right now. Okay. So you have good credit and you have a lot of credit card or like, what is your credit score? My credit score, I'm above 800. Last I checked, I got it checked like the end of the year last year. I have like personal credit cards. I have three, you know, two travel cards, and then like one I've ha I've had for a while. So that's what I have, like on my personal, you know, my social security. But this this is the first credit card I've opened up on this yeah. for my LLC. Yeah, no problem. So for this one right here, how much is the limit that they gave you? Thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand. Yeah. And when you open your business credit card, open business checking, did you deposit any money in there? I haven't deposited any money yet and I just got that opened last week as well. So I highly recommend to deposit about $10,000 from your personal fund. Just let it sit in there and then and then when you apply for a credit card, you get a higher approval credit line. Mm -hmm. So right now let's talk about, so what is your budget for your Amazon journey and how much are you anticipating? Let's say $20,000 because we don't want to open too many credit cards. Yeah. So. It varies, right? Like I don't have, I mean, obviously I just want to be as not too conservative, but you know, not too out there. Based on looking for my product, you know, my goal is to make at least 30,000, you know, fairly within the first few few months after launching. So I know I have to put out at least, you know, 10 to 20 K to get there. Looking at, you know, the quotes that I've gotten so far to get, to get to that revenue. So. You know, I have an idea of you know the, the the credit line that I need, so I haven't like I didn't I didn't want to like put myself into a bucket and be like, okay, this is all I'm gonna charge for now. If I need to get another credit card, you know, I'm willing to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, so a good twenty to thirty thousand is great. That is mm -hmm. a good number to start with, and mm -hmm. just keep it at this, but continuously asking for a higher credit limit increase. So yeah. then in the future, let's say as you start eventually scaling your business you will be able to have access to capital and it's mm -hmm. a lot easier. So as for now, let's stick to 0% uh, interest because why? Right now, you want to use, put it on a credit just so that you always have your cash on hand uh, yeah. from your bank in case whenever that you need something, it's always be there. And for the bank, when you're using the credit card, you get so many benefits. And one of it is like, say, protection, like purchase protection, and also you can re get some sign of bonuses. You also get some points that you can travel or let's say some cash back. So it's mm -hmm. a wise move to do that. So right now, let me give you some credit card so that you can, let's see, so you can start. So do you care much about like, do you care much about, let's say, uh, travel points or let's say cash back? I don't. Like with the yeah. uh, Chase Business Unlimited, what are their mm -hmm. sign of bonuses? The Chase Business Unlimited was, it was, it was, I think it was Trixie. It was, for this one was the 5% cash back on this one. So this is the first card I've applied for that i done cash back on. All of my other cards are usually points, like my personal cards. Mm -hmm. This is like, I guess me trying to see if I like, you know, cash back. So one of the good credit card, I'm gonna send it to you in here, but I highly recommend to create an Excel sheet so that you yeah. can start tracking. So I can okay. send you one on this chat. So this one is the business credit card with 0% interest. It's called Blue mm. Business Plus with American Express. They also, they give you 0% interest for 12 months. So you can check the chat and you will see, I put the link in our Zoom chat. Already. Oh yeah, I have it open. So just put it there. So basically they give you either, they give you $2 
statement, this one, and also 0% interest. Making sure that you make the minimum payment per month so that uh, you always uh, have that benefit because if you miss one payment, they would stop that introductory APR. And also on this one, you get 2% cash back and 1% cash back on like different category on the highlight. And let's say for credit card, where do you travel a lot or not? I want to travel a lot. Yeah, I do. I just came back from London. So yeah. And so with your business, you can open another credit card, which is the Chase American Express Platinum. Did you have the Platinum before? I don't. So what with that one is that it does give you a lot of like, powerful protection. Let's say, for example, if you were to work with any freelancer, mm -hmm. and if you're not happy with the service or if they didn't deliver, this one has like the highest protection where they can get your money back. Even the other person is already working on your, your let's say on the service, but then if you claim that you didn't receive, then American Express will get the money back for you. No, okay. like with, at no additional cost and at whatever the cost that they may take, like they do it for you. So earlier I sent you one blue cash card, right? There's mm -hmm. another card, it's blue cash plus card. So basically you're gonna have two credit cards that have 0% interest and let's say each of them give you about 10,000 because you already have a good credit score yeah. and maybe you have you already have income so you already able to stack up about 20,000 it's like interest free credit card funding and making sure when you applying making sure that you put the rep even though your company is newly formed but you mm -hmm. can still put in let's say your annual net income personally because yeah. they just want to know how much you're making personally and right now you represent your business with your own social security so mm -hmm. they just need to ask for income usually just put about a hundred to two hundred thousand so that you can get a higher credit line regardless okay. of how much you make it in reality with that range there okay i saw in your videos you said to put 76 but then you you'd rather i put what's closer to like my work salary to get a better business credit or like to get a higher credit so let's say how much are you making a year yeah. let's say if it's above a six figure then yeah. put put above six figure the reason why on like the more you put the more you will receive the credit line based on the consideration so if you That's really true. make above six figures then just put it the okay. reason why i put 75 78 is because sometimes a lot of entrepreneurs they don't have mm -hmm. a nine, uh, consistent cash flow from the nine to five they say they just have a low below six figure year so i'm mm -hmm. just telling them hey put more than what you earn. I see. So that's pretty much it. And that's allow you to get some funding. And just be careful that, not be careful, but be aware that once you start placing, like before ready, a month before you're placing a bulk order, let's say two weeks, apply for it so that you can get the car on time to pay for your order. Bless you. Yeah. So these are two American Express credit card. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for the for the American Express Platinum, if you re do you travel like do you go into lounges when you're traveling? Yeah, I re I have lounge access with my personal cards. Oh, with your personal card. So I have. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, go ahead. Which car is it? Venture Capital oh. and Chase. Okay, that's fine. But for your business, because pretty much in the future, let's say if you travel, even mm -hmm. for personal, you can still, as long as you talk about business and you document it, that could be an easy business expense that you can deduct on your income. So it's a better way, let's say if your business start generating money, or let's say mm -hmm. if your business is not, let's say you're overspending, let's say you travel for your personal, but then you talk about business, and then let's say you end up spending more than what you make on your business, you can still deduct it yeah. back into your personal, because it flow into your personal. So it's better that way. Okay. I just recommend, but do whatever that's comfortable for you and just focus on your Amazon business now. Maybe that's another later on in case if you want to like reduce your income or some sort of way. Yeah, so let's go back here. So you have two credit cards already. Uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. send you the business platinum. For the business platinum, I highly recommend to have it. Why? It is because of the protection when you, mm -hmm. when you let's say, using for, because you're going to be using, let's say when you're using product and services and Let's say, like I shared with you earlier, if the service provider default, then then file a chargeback with them, okay? Also, this one gave you $200 airline credit, and also a TSA, and pretty much any other things, and also allow access and so on. But my main benefit that I want you to have, it, it is for your protection, 
let's say if you place in a bulk order or let's say uh, just service provider the same way you get protection or service provider you always get a backup so with chase uh, there's a lot of like chase business zero percent interest that you can also apply for as well but i don't want you to apply for all of it if you don't find the use of it okay only apply yeah. when you really start needing money and make sure that it's like two weeks to a month in advance so below mm -hmm. is a list of this so with chase usually the chase inc will provide you zero percent interest so there are two cards number one i'm going to send it to you right here which is the chase inc unlimited and another one is inc business cash so based on what you have because you already do an established relationship with chase they end up usually give you more money so there so you can apply for them now so for me because you have a relationship with chase mm -hmm. usually chase have like a rule where you cannot have like more than five car in your stack so I, re I recommend to do Chase first and then do other credit card after. Let's say American Express is much easier, but because mm -hmm. you already have established relationship with Chase, so just go with Chase on the 0% interest first, so you get the higher credit line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you know if like that five credit card stack, is it, is it, I think you can only apply for like five for every two, two years or something like that. Does that include like all my personal credit cards too? So with your business, it's a little bit different. So your business has become like an individual itself mm -hmm. where it has its own identity. So mm -hmm. you can replicate the same. Just think of it as an individual. They can do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. But there's maybe a slightly different but even if you have, let's say, uh, Venture Capital, the Capital One Venture X on your personal side, you can still apply for your business similar to like, similar like that, and still getting like sign up bonuses, let's say travel and cash back. So it's like a mobile player if you are in the credit card. The five, five per 24 is like on the personal, on the I business, see. it's a little bit different, but just stick to it because there has to be something for it. It's rather be safe and sorry. Yeah. All right. Any question? I think yes. I'm good. So for your action item, is just apply. Number one, apply for Chase first. Mm -hmm. um, your goal is to get zero percent interest credit card, yeah. and then also the cash back because either the cash or the travel point. So that let's say when you spend money, you get you can recoup some of them back through their benefit. Okay. Yeah, I just checked. I had a. I was looking through. I do have that Chase Inc. Business Unlimited and is the zero percent one. So that's what it was. Oh, so it was the Chase Inc. Unlimited. Yes, I said credit card Chase. Yeah, I forgot to put Unlimited. Yeah, I, I just had to check my email. So that is the one that you got approved for thirteen thousand. So you can call them up and just say, hey, I may make a purchase for my business that is above twenty thousand. So what yeah. is your your highest credit line right now with Chase? Personal. I want to say either 30 or 50. Yeah. If that is the case, deposit money in the business checking and then mm -hmm. call and ask, hey, I need to purchase my inventory and it's about 20000 Yeah. Or like more. The more you can ask, the better. They will always come in with like a counter offer. Yeah. With that being said, it's going to help you to get 0% interest on a larger fund and then you don't mm -hmm. have to apply for too many cards. Okay. Do you like, or I guess it's preference, do you prefer Amex or Chase? For me, I've been a good customer with Amex more than Chase. It's really come down to which relation, which bank that you have a strongest relationship with. And one thing that I really like about Amex is that with this Platinum card, even mm -hmm. like, let's say if I buy a $20,000 car, put down $4,000 deposit or like even 10000 and if, mm -hmm. let's say, I didn't want to purchase that car, I call them up and say, hey, I don't want, I don't want that car. And then let's say the, the auto dealership didn't give me back the money. They're going to fight and get my money back without me like to do too much of work. I just call them up, hey, I end up didn't buy the car. They're trying to hold my money hostage. Can you mm -hmm. help me get my money back? And they're going to get my money back easily. With Chase and with other banks, it's a little bit harder to do so because I'm not sure why, but with Chase, I would, it makes them all, it's always come through. Okay. Yeah. I, I've been working with Chase for a while. And so whenever I opened up this LLC, I actually ended up opening up a Amex checking account. So yeah. it was something, you know, I, I just wanted to try, but that's, I was just curious on preferences. If so. that is the case, I highly recommend to establish relationship with Amex 
now if you can because they're gonna base on how long have you been with them to eventually mm -hmm. give you more and more line of credit because let's say with Chase eventually you're gonna cap down on a certain relationship values for your credit line mm -hmm. but then with American Express they're gonna base on the credit report that you have with Chase and they're gonna give you more so it's always good to have more okay so those are the two that I would highly consider Chase and they establish good relationship with them mm -hmm. always start it's good to start that's why if you can start with the a mix credit card okay. and then let's say because you already have the a mix platinum you can cancel or let's say downgrade one of your personal yeah with that being said let's say in the future let you use travel you want to even with your personal as long mm -hmm. as you using your credit card for business you talk business and you just kind of yeah. document it it's a yeah. write-off yeah so i started a question on that so i'm starting to try and make sure if i go anywhere and it ends up being business meeting or something that i i, I just keep track of that as long as you talk business in it it's considered as it's business because if you have your credit card on your personal side yes it's good to kind of separate it but that is one of the benefit as a business owner in america and that is one mm -hmm. of the consider as a loophole as as long as you talk business in any kind of activity setting where you just talk business in it and you document it and you have proof it's a write-off okay. and then you can have your business paying for that credit card um, use annual fee mm -hmm. so you know you can just keep your cash on your personal and you do things okay. But keep in mind, you don't want to focus too much on write-off, okay? You want to focus on building your business first. And then one is stabilized, and then you can focus on how can I write up my profit or reinvest it back into my business. Yeah. So let's summary the call. Um, yeah. What are the takeaway that you have learned? So my next steps that I'm going to do is I have, I'm going to move 10K over to this business checking account. I ha already have that Chink Inc. Chase Inc. Business Unlimited credit card. So I want to hit that. I think it was like I had, I had to get 3000 that month just to get um, that cash back. So I'll do that first. In the meantime, I'm if, when I, if I do do another bulk order, then I'll look into creating a credit card with Amex. So then I can go to relationship with Amex to have another you know bank in case I need it in the future. That is correct. Anything else? Focus on building business first. I wrote that down. And also with American Express Platinum, you will get oh. the highest protection, like yeah. the most powerful protection because you will be, let's say, working with freelancer for your business. You will to put the cost on this card. Why? Because when you work with freelancer, from time to time they may deliver or sometimes they may not deliver what you expect them to do. Mm -hmm. And let's say if you guys eventually come to a bad term and you gotta you feel like it's it's the right move, file a chargeback, Max will get a hundred percent of your money back. Do so, they have like where they set date like let's say you charged it in like February? Do they have like an ex like a date where you, you can you know dispute a charge? I think it's about six months, three to six months. For you just to, to dispute any charges on on that is correct. them? Yeah. Oh wow. And uh, so I, because in the world of business, there's always mm -hmm. possibilities. So for me, every time I file a dispute or charge back, I always uh -huh. get my money back. Ten out of ten, never uh, mm -hmm. the one that they fail me. Oh okay. And one trick in making sure that you can say I never did receive it or I never intended to make that purchase. If you feel like you're being tricked on, so it's good to mm -hmm. tell them and then they just represent you to teach the service provider a lesson and get the money back for you. Anything anything else that I missed? And also the I think that you don't you're not missing it. Making sure that the more let's say the more money you put in your check business checking, the higher you can ask for the uh, credit card credit line approval, a higher credit line limit. And also on your earning, make sure that if you make above six figure, put above six figure. And always do like 20 more than what you already make. So okay. they base on that to give you money. Okay, that makes sense. All right, any question? No, I thank you. I appreciate you scheduling this call with me. No okay. If you have any question, um, I'm happy to help. Okay, so. Sounds good. And then one last thing. Do you go by Justin or do you go by, how do you say? Justin yes? is fine. Justin's fine. Okay. 
I just anytime I talk to Charlie, I don't know if it's Charlie or Chung. So I'm like, what should I say? Okay. Chung or Charlie is fine too. Okay. Those are both? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Anytime. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Yeah.